Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a review card carousel or you can say a testimonial slider using Elementor for free. So if you have some feedback from the client and you want to display them as a carousel or a slider you can do it easily by watching this video. And by the way we will be using the same plugin that we used in our last video for making this type of step low. So if you are interested in that you can watch my previous video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a review card carousel. So before that let me show you a quick demo of that. So as you can see this is the demo one. You can see the arrows, the boxes, the hover effects with image, name, subtitle and then a description and 5 star reviews. Then we have the second demo as you can see we have these type of borders and these type of ratings with hover effects. This is a demo 3 as you can see we have these type of images and hover effects and these arrows. This is the demo 4 which is the special one as you can see we have the arrows outside. We have these type of hover effects with these dots. Then we have the demo 5 as you can see these type of arrows. You can increase decrease the columns and you can customize these based on your needs. Then we have demo 6 as you can see we have these type of arrows and bottom border and these type of reviews with images. Then we have this demo 7 you can see the hover effects and you can also move it from here and the arrows and the dots. Then we have demo 8 with background images so if you need you can have a background image for your testimonial then we have this demo 9 as you can see we can display something like this also and obviously you can customize this also now let's see how we can make this and how we can customize this so for that we will just go to our WordPress dashboard and then we will go to plugins here you can search for element pack light and you will see this plugin element fake elementary add-ons this is the plugin that we used in our last video so i already have installed and activated this and once you activate this plugin then you can go to its element fake menu here you will find its core widgets third party widgets and extensions so you can go to core widgets and here you can search for a review and make sure you enable this review card carousel so just enable this by the way you can also make google reviews review card review card grid using this same plugin so once you enable this then you will be able to use this and just click on save changes then open up any page with elementor so i'll open my previous page so this is the page that we created in our last video we also have through text and this same plugin so let's scroll down and let's add a new section here so for that we will search for review ok let's refresh this page this is because we enabled the review just now so that we can get it right here let's search for review now you can see review card carousel and with e logo so you can just drag this over here and this will instantly give you a look for the reviews so here you can update your image your title description and reviews so this is the first look if you want to customize any of these you can go to items and you can open any of these and then you can change its image so just click on this and then you can use an image so just click on this insert media and that's it you got that image obviously you can use some ready-made images then you can change the name here so let's call this something like this and you can also change the job title and obviously we can change this text also and you can scroll down and you can do the same for all of these like you can change the image the text and the subtitle and description you can also add more items if you need or you can just duplicate any of these and then you can make the required changes then you can go to its additional settings and here you can decide the number of columns as you can see we have three columns you can increase and decrease this based on your needs and this is the column gap so this is the spacing between each column you can increase decrease this and this is item match height so if you enable this then all of these will have equal height which is nice and this is show name so if you want to display this name you can enable this and you can give this an html tag like h1 h2 h3 and this is the job title if you want you can display or you can just turn this off if you don't need now as you can see we only have the name and we don't have the job title you can re-enable this and this is a rating so if you want you can display our hide star rating 
and then you can decide the rating type like you can choose star or you can choose number if i switch to number you can see that we have this look and then you can customize this in the style tab which i'll show you later let's go back to star reviews and you can decide the place for this so before review text or after review text after review is this position i show review text which is this text you can also enable and disable this then we have image option you can display an image or you can just hide your image if you didn't need as you can see we don't have an image for now and you can also decide the image size the image position and image mask which will give you a circle or shape that you need you can change the alignment like you can make this center the line like this so all of these options are depending on you that how you want your testimonial then you can switch to navigation and you can decide the arrows and the dots like this arrows and dots now this will also display dots and arrows and show dynamic bullets so if you turn this on then these bullets will be dependent on the number of the testimonial or the feedback you have or the number of items you can also display a scroll bar which will look like this now if i switch to the next one this will move like this and arrows so you can change the arrow style to something like style 1 style 2 and all of these this is defined on you and hide arrows on mobile if you want you can hide arrows on mobile and here we also have a lot of options that we can change like the layout so you can change this to carousel or core flow a core flow will look something like this and then you have auto play option if you want you can enable disable auto play the animation speed pause and hour so if i enable this then if i bring my mouse here then this will stop scrolling and this is what fuzz and hour do then we have start to scroll so if you increase this then this will scroll three slider slides at one time you can see the number of dots also decrease as you can see we got three slide three new slides you can switch this to one or two or something and this is center slide so if you enable this then your slider will be at center you can also enable grey cursor you can drag free mode so if you enable this then you can drag this from anywhere which we will see in the live review and this is the loop option so this will keep scrolling and uh, you have animation speed observer and show hidden items so all of these options are dependent on you i'm not going in much detail just to make the video short then you can switch to style tab and here you can style everything like you can style the item image name job title text and so on like if you want to change the background of this item you can just click on this you can click here and then you can change it like this or you can change the background on hour so if i switch this and let's choose this color now you can see the hour effects and same goes for the image you can design the image based on your needs like you can give it some border radius size spacing css filters and all of these options and as I said, you can design these the way you want. And all of these options are available in the free version of this plugin. And you can go to advanced and you can do some advanced settings for this also. Now, if you don't want to start from scratch and you want to copy any of these styles, then this plugin also have a live copy option. As you can see, if I hover over here, you can see the live copy option. So I can copy this and I can paste this on my website. Let me show you how. You can go to any of these demos let's say i want to copy this one so i'll just click like copy if it doesn't work you can just refresh the page sorry for the background noise it's raining today so as you can see now i can click on like copy and copied now we can just paste it in our elementor but before that you can go to the element fake and here you can go to other settings and make sure you enable this like copy paste and once you enable this then you will be able to use this feature so i already have enabled this if i go to elementor i can just right click here and then i can see live copy or live paste option so we already have copied it let's live paste and as you can see we got that review carousel demo file so now we have this look and this is absolutely fine we can just click on this and we can do the same settings as we did like you can change the image the name the title and descriptions and you can also change the style and the colors based on your website and based on your color palette so this is how you can make a review card carousel or you can say a testimonial slider using elementor for free 
Again, you can watch my previous videos to learn more about this plugin and use all of its features. So hope the video will help you. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.